Jose, can you see? So what's your name? Anthony Gillis. And why are you here? Uh, I'm here to demonstrate my love for this country um, and at the same time to register concerns about the direction it's headed. And where do you think it's headed? I think it is headed in a direction away from uh, that set out by the founders of this country. I think we're moving in a direction of less liberty, more government government intervention, um, you know, and ultimately uh, greater unfairness, to be honest, ironically, considering the mottos of the people who are doing it, um, because they're taking money from, from those who have worked hard, those who have saved, those who have been successful. They're giving it to those who have failed, who have made mistakes, who have gotten in over their heads, um, you know, right up to the corporate level and right down to you and me. Um, and, and with that money, uh, you know, comes control. You know, I mean, there's the old saying, he who pays the piper calls the tune, and, and that is the direction we're headed. Um, and what do you, what kind of effect do you think it'll have for you to just be standing out here on the sidewalks of the Denver Capitol on July 4th, 2009? It, uh, it, it, it gets some attention. People will notice, hopefully. Some people will, will remember that there are people out there who are so worried, who are willing to take a stand. Um, you know, ultimately, if we're going to get long-term results, we need to, to write congressmen, we need to call, um, we need to, to eventually mobilize to try to get bad candidates, bad you know, politicians out of office and try to find someone you know, who will be better. But you know, in, in the short run, we have to organize, we have to build membership, we have to build awareness. Um, if we don't say anything, people will just slip back uh, into sleep. What would be the characteristics of that ideal politician? They would have to be a major break with the, the trends of the last, I'd say, 20 years or so. They'd need to be someone who would stand by the Constitution, really stand by it, uh, by the limitations uh, placed upon government, you know, the federal government in particular, but, but the states in general should model themselves on that same principle. You know, they don't need to be little mini-welfare states within the, uh, the Republic as well. So at any particular level, they should favor uh, less government intervention. They should favor less favoritism. They should favor less control, more liberty, lower taxes. Uh, you know, they should love this country uh, and openly do so, unlike some politicians we have now. You know, they should they should put their heart, uh, their, their hand over their heart for uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. You know? Maybe even say the pledge. Yeah, maybe even say the pledge. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. You know, and... You know, in general, I think they should support, you know, a, a strong national defense and, and control of our borders as well. But the, the real problems right now are here at home. Well, th that used to be called a uh, loyalty oath. So you're saying we should probably go back to loyalty oaths. Where, where is your loyalty? I, I think people should at least publicly express it. If you have a problem with expressing loyalty to your own country, where do you get off running for office for that country and, and, and wanting to wield power? You know. What do you think about what's happening down in Honduras this week? I think it's a disaster. Um, I, well, the, the choices of the, the, the Supreme Court and the Congress of Honduras were correct. Uh, Zelaya absolutely attempted an unconstitutional coup, classic, you know, dictatorial, uh, you know, third world, you know, I'm, I've been in, in two terms, the Constitution says I, I can't stay, but I want to stay anyway because I love being in power, so let's just change the Constitution and go around the mechanisms of the existing one. And what do you he, think? He tried that and I, I'm appalled. What do you think about the Obama administration's response? I, I'm appalled that they have come out in however waffly a way on Zelaya's side, you know, in support of his return to power. Um, after that, you know, this is the, the, the same administration that, that for, for two weeks, you know, did nothing, said nothing in support of the Iranian protesters who were dying in the streets, you know, to try to win back their liberty. So. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for your activism. Thank Anything you. else you want to say? Um, I would say that if, if those people in Iran can, can stand and fight and face guns to try to bring their country into some sort of real democracy, you know, to, to fight for their liberty, the least we can do is come and stand in the street corner with flags and make ourselves known. Thank you. doesn't make any sense and he had to come out the day after and say you know I didn't know about that part well he didn't know about a lot of the parts or neither I talked to all eight of the Congress Republicans that voted for that and talked with their aides 
and they they said oh well they knew what was in there i said that's not, just not right they didn't know what was in there because they got it at three three hundred pages at midnight or 3 a.m in the morning there's no. no one that read it and then that speed reading will hire someone to speed read <laughs> the bills you can't understand one thing they're saying hey but and the world really deserved to know that michael jackson died they, oh, they well, really did. <laughs> keep expecting them to come back with the next report. He's still dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, and even the fact that even with the 300-page amendment that they put a placeholder in there, which is blank, and that they can add further legislation at another date without any notice or anything else is absolutely uncalled for. How can we govern this? How can this country legally be governed by our Constitution if the actual bills are not even being read or written bef before they're being voted on. Well, and you hold that up next to the Constitution, which is what, 20 pages? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? exactly. Do we honestly need so much rhetoric? Well, you know, even the czar, uh, and that's another which, subject with which, all which the... Which czar would that czar, be, Mike? We got more czars <laughs> than Russia had. And uh, the energy czar hadn't even uh, read the uh, cap-and-trade bill. So, uh, you know, what's that say when you, you supposedly you have the leaders and those who uh, are the, the experts haven't even read this bill. So, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, talk about treading on all of our rights. This is just one more example. Yeah. As the flag says, it, it just keeps going, you know. So this is this is a statist uh, way of running this country, totally different than this country's ever seen in the past. And where do you see it all going? Uh, it doesn't look good unless people, just citizens, uh, speak out and more and more speak out because I know there's more and more people out there that see what's going on, and uh, people need to get verbal and uh, let the, these people that are running our lives know that we don't want them in our lives. We only want to pay taxes for, uh, uh, for, for the uh, protection, national security, and, and for uh, infrastructure to a limit. Yeah, that's to a limit. <laughs> to a limit, and that's right. all we need. We don't need all this other garbage, you know, making our money worth nothing. It's going to become to the point, you know, look at California. They're giving out IOUs, and that's just a microcosm of, what, of what's going to happen to the whole country. And that, they're on the same uh, track as California has been over the last, what, 40, 50 years. So this has been going on a long time, and now it's coming to, uh, to a head. Uh, What's the head going to be? Well, uh, you know, it's not going to be good because they're going to totally control our lives. And if that's what people want, then just don't say anything. That's what you're going to get. Here, here it is, 4th of July, we've had six people show up. And some of the most significant legislation in the country, in the history of the country, is is being pushed through, ran through, crammed down, and who cares? They don't even understand some of the 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 important things that are being changed in our life, radically changed, changed for our generation, the children's generation, our children's generation, and they're sitting you home having a hot dog. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the Iranians are with them, the hot dogs, yeah. right? Well, I was yeah. thinking this week, maybe we should just all immigrate to Honduras, you yeah. know? Yeah, at least they uh, protect their constitution down there, yeah. but yet uh, the Nash or the state-controlled media calls it a coup, rather than just action to protect their constitution. Well, to me, this is where they're truly showing their colors, this Iran. Oh, absolutely. No, yeah. absolutely. There's Good no point. doubt just about that. Out. We were just talking about that. There is no doubt about it. This administration has really, truly shown their true colors yeah. by supporting the ousted, legally ousted president of Honduras and not supporting the efforts of the people of Iran to have their own democracy, which they've seen in Iraq, which uh -huh. was a result of...